Uh, you refer to the trial as a political trial. Why it is a political trial and what differentiates a political trial than a regular one? Well, in a, in a political trial, of course, the uh, government or whoever's bringing the case, the prosecutor, uh, is uh, basically prosecuting the individual because of the individual's political views, that those views uh, are contrary to uh, the establishment and that this person's views or this person's actions pose a threat. And in Mr. Glenn's uh, context, of course, um, he was uh, indicted because of his views and uh, essentially the government was saying he was trying to establish a religious state and Sharia law and, and things like that and then also a bunch of other allegations that are totally baseless. Uh, but it was a way of discrediting him. And the other part of this, of course, is that under Turkish law, if uh, he had been convicted, uh, then the government would have tried to seize uh, all of the uh, institutions and the schools and all of that uh, that uh, were related to the movement. Even though there's not a direct uh, tie, of course, but uh, you can tell by the indictment that the government <clears throat> was very much uh, threatened uh, by the uh, movement because it, it changed the dynamic of Turkey. It had a lot to do with the rising middle class in the Anatolia region. It had a lot to do with transparency in the government had a lot to do with uh, basically uh, bringing more democracy to Turkey. So that was a threat to the established order. And uh, for that reason, you know, they, they engineered this awful, awful media campaign against him for about a year uh, before they finally uh, indicted him. So the, the, it was purely political because all what the establishment was doing or the prosecutor was doing was try to uh, uh, undermine Mr. Gulen's uh, credibility with the people uh, get him out of commission and uh, try to seize uh, assets and schools and like that that are related to the movement. So it's, it, there's no doubt it to, in my mind it was political. There was no crime. You know, ultimately the judges said when they made their ruling, they said, you know, uh, there was absolutely no allegation that any crime took place whatsoever. It's purely uh, political speech, his political ideas, uh, or what the state thought was his political ideas. Uh, for which he was promising.